What it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again for the one time, one time. And um, it is, what's today? Thursday? Yes, Thursday. Um, Falcons playing tonight. Thursday night football. Now, Cowboys playing Sunday. Now, this is going to be a big week, right? So, this is the week that starts our crazy football stretch, right? So, we have Sunday. 425 Eastern Time against the Kansas City Chiefs. Which is going to be a hell of a game. I think it's going to be the, the best game this weekend. Um, but we'll get into that in a second. Now, after this, we got Thanksgiving right after that. Next Thursday against the Raiders. 430 at home. Thank God it's home. Then you got another Thursday game after that. So, it's going to be an interesting stretch. Now, we're going to get some players back within these next couple of weeks. Um, Tyron Smith actually practiced yesterday and, and today as well, I believe. So, it's a good chance that Tyron Smith can actually play this game on Sunday because you're going to need him. Um, they, they got Frank Clark on defense over there. They got our Anthony Hitchens over there. Even though Anthony Hitchens, it seems like he's slowing down a bit. But he's still a good linebacker. Wish we still had him. Um, but we got Micah Parsons, so we good. Um, they still got the Honey Badger over there at safety. So that's their strongest point over there is at, at safety. Um, you're going to – we'll talk more about that this weekend before the game on my matchup videos. When I get – when we uh, get into the meat of the Kansas City game. But what I will say right now, though, this game is going to be hype. Uh, Dak Prescott. Pat Mahomes, they both got mutual respect for each other. Um, they, they both admire each other's game. We know that Pat Mahomes is an NFL champion. He's a, he's an NFL MVP. He's, you know, he's got the accolades already, already at 26. Now you look at Dak Prescott. This year he's played out his mind. You can say that he's in the elite category right now, the way he's playing this year. Um, outside of the usual suspects like the the Aaron Rodgers and the and the Tom Brady's of the world, Dak Prescott is up there as far as because if you can't say that the Cowboys are one of the best teams in the league right now and not say that Dak Prescott ain't one of the best quarterbacks in the league, it doesn't make sense. You look at the numbers, and Dak Prescott has been getting better and better every year. You can tell from his rookie season that he had that wear fall to do it. He was 13-3 and his first year. If the, if the Dallas Cowboys win this game to go 8-2, and two, um, they will definitely be um, – it'll be the first time they've been 8-2 and two since Dak's rookie year. So going up against Pat Mahomes, you got two really good – quarterbacks going up against each other it's going to be a great game kansas city fans are going to be hyped for it they're going to be dallas fans in kansas city um shoot i wish i could go to the game but i'm not out there in missouri but i will say that it's going to be a crazy game um kansas city is considered the best offense in the league right now but i think that i still think even with that said stat wise i still think the dallas cowboys all right, better on offense. I still think we got a little more weapons than they do, even though they got the young Tyreek Hill. And they, they got some guys you got to watch out for. They got Travis Kels. So, you know, J. Ron Kirst, no, who was that? No, Jordan Lewis said it, that it's actually not pronounced Kelsey. It's actually pronounced Kels. So it's we've been, we've been saying that dude's last name wrong forever. Everybody's been saying his last name wrong. So... He actually clarified it, and I guess Jordan Lewis got wind of it. He's like, oh, oh, it's not Kelsey, it's Kels? Okay, okay. So it's it's Kels. So we're going to start saying Kels now. So with Travis Kels, <laughs> uh, one of the best tight ends in the league right now. Um, you know, you look at our tight ends, even though they're not considered pro bowlers, they have been playing pretty well, and I think that's because of the offense that they're in with us and the weapons we have around Dak Prescott and Dak Prescott being able to hit eight to nine different guys in his offense. Um, 
you look at our wide receiver core, every single one of them can play well. Even you look at Malik Turner, and he's considered just a special teams guy, and he even knows his offense front to back. So um, you look at that, and then the Cowboys still not being full strength on defense, and you still got guys like Neville Gallimore that need to come back. You still got or Brett Urban that need to come back. You still got Demarcus Lawrence to come back and Randy Gregory to come back. So once these guys come back from IR, and as you make this playoff push outside of Kansas City, the Raiders and the and the Cardinals, that's the hardest games you got on the schedule right now. Everybody else, I just look at them like, okay. All right, because you look at the end of the season, we got um, Washington December 12th. That's going to be a good game. Um, Washington is one of those teams that they, they they kill me because they play like crap and then they play great against us. So um, I'm definitely not counting them out as far as, you know, being an easy game because that's a game that can mess you up like the Broncos did. So you don't want that. <laughs> Because, um, you know, Washington did beat Tom Brady, although Tom Brady didn't have some of his weapons like Antonio Brown and things of that nature. But that's besides the point. At the end of the day, though, it's football. Any team can be any team in the league, technically. But you look at this game on Sunday, and it's going to be a shootout, in my opinion, because even though Pat Mahomes and them didn't play well early in the season, they won four straight. So... They're at the top of their division. So if they beat us, they'll be fighting for a playoff spot in the AFC side. But that Dak Prescott knows how important this game is, and they're going to be ready to go, just like Kansas City is. So it's going to be a really good game between the offense and the defense. I think I believe with this game, though, whoever makes the most stops on defense wins. That's just how I feel because even though I feel like our offense still has a little bit more oomph than their offense does, and I think that that actually gives us the edge, even though Kansas City is more likely the favorite in this game because it's a home game for them, so they get that favorite status because they're home. But at the end of the day, I think the Cowboys still can get this game. Um, you just, you you know, you got to frustrate Pat Mahomes, and, and if, he, if he doesn't have anywhere to throw the ball, three and out, baby. So if Jordan Lewis comes to play, J. Ron Curse comes to play, our defensive line come to play, we'll be all right. We will be all right in this game. So just look at it like that. Um, shout out to all the fans out there that have been supporting the channel since day one. Appreciate your guys and your patience with the things that I've been going through in my personal life. Appreciate you guys. Um, like, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, hit that notification bell to get this um, content. It's your boy E2Blue, always keeping it real. Y'all have a great evening.